Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out Bedtime Story? Well, you're in for a treat tonight with a book called Black Dog by Revy Pinfold. And tonight's story is dedicated to all the awesome learners in Grade 1A and Grade 1B. You are amazing. Now let's get back to the story because it's all about the story Black Dog by Levy Pinfold. The very nice bedtime story. I want to read the part at the front here. Um, Have you ever heard the legend of the black dog? Some believe one glimpse of this fearful creature will set the most terrible events in motion. So when it visits the Hope family's home, who could blame them for being a bit alarmed? This story is about being scared. It's also a story about not being scared. It depends on how you see things. It's a really amazing bedtime story. Apparently, it sounds scary, but it's not really. Let's have a listen. Can you hear me turning the pages? One day, a black dog came to visit the Hope family. Mr. Hope was the first to see it. My goodness, he cried, dropping his toast. He didn't waste any time in phoning the police. Oh, there's a black dog the size of a tiger outside my house. He told the policeman. The policeman laughed. What should I do? Asked Mr. Hope. Don't go outside, said the policeman, and put the phone down. Mrs. Hope was next to get up. My goodness, she cried, dropping her mug of tea. She didn't waste any time in calling for Mr. Hope. Did you know there's a black dog there, size of an elephant outside? She yelled. Yes, said Mr. Hope. What should we do? Asked Mrs. Hope. Turn out the lights so it does not know we're here. Adeline Hope was the next to get up. Oh my goodness, she cried, dropping her toothbrush. She didn't waste any time in calling for her parents. Did you know that there's a black dog the size of a Tyrannosaurus Rex outside? Yes, yes, said Mr. and Mrs. Hope together. What should we do? asked Adeline. Close the curtain so he can't see us. Maurice Hope was the next to get up. My goodness, he cried, dropping his teddy. He didn't waste any time in calling for the family. Did you know that there's a black dog the size of a big Jeffy outside? What's a big Jeffy? asked Adeline Hope. Never mind that, what shall we do? demanded Maurice Hope. Hide under the covers, they wailed. It was then the youngest member of the Hope family, called Small for short, who noticed that there was something going on. What are you doing all under the covers there? We're hiding from the black dog. They whispered. Oh, you are such sillies, said Small, opening the front door. Don't go out there, gasped her family. The hound will eat you up. It'll munch your head. It'll crunch your bones. But Small had gone anyway. Outside, the black dog leaned down towards her and breathed. Crikey, you are big said Small. What are you doing here, you guffin? The black dog snuffed at her. (laughs) All right then, she said. If you're going to eat me, you'll have to catch me first. And with that, she scurried into the lowering trees. As she ran, she made up a song. You can't follow where I go, unless you shrink, or don't you know? The black dog followed. As Small 
hurried towards the frozen pond, under the little bridge and over the ice. She sang, "You've got fat legs. Ice is thin. Lose some weight, or you fall in." And the black dog followed. Next, she scuttled through the playground, down the slide, and around the roundabout, singing, "You've got a big tum. I'm all slim. You'll fit through if you're more trim." And the black dog followed. Finally, small, run all the way back to the house. You'll find out why they all hide. If you follow me inside, and with that, small tumbled into a warm home through the cat flap. She really was that small, and so by now was the black dog. Inside the house, small grabbed the washing basket, and as the black dog scrambled in behind her, she covered him with it with a loud "ha." Just then, the rest of the Hope family. Popped up from behind their barricade. You haven't been munched," cried Mrs. Hope. "You haven't been crunched," cheered Mr. Hope. "You haven't been eaten," yelled Morris Hope. "But where's the black dog?" asked Adeline. Without a word, Small lifted the basket, and the rest of the Hope family were extremely pleased to see that the black dog. Was neither so huge nor scary as they had feared. He doesn't seem fierce at all now. I really look at him," said Mister Hope. The rest of the family agreed. We were silly," said Adeline. Only Small knew the right thing to do. Everyone was quiet for a while, thinking how brave Small had been. You've got a lot of courage facing up to a big fearsome thing like that. Said Mrs. Hope. There was nothing to be scared of, you know," replied Small. As she went to sit by the fire, and the black dog followed. The end. Well, that is just another book. You have to see to believe. A beautifully illustrated book. And I'm not surprised it, it actually was the winner of a Kate Greenway medal in 2013. And a little message about being scared. And what do you think that message is? I think it's saying that you can make your fears seem bigger and bigger and bigger the more you think about them, as big as your house. But really, when you confront them, and when you sing to them, and let them follow you. They're really no smaller than a little dog that you can put a basket on and capture and keep and make your pet and let it follow you and sit by the fire. The end of Black Dog by Levy Pinfold. Here on the Lights Out podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good night.